Hi, Julie, how are you? Hello, Greg. So biomes are a really hot topic at the moment. And the Center for Skin Sciences at the University of Bradford is at the cutting edge of research and publications in this area. I'm so excited to hear your lecture, which is titled uh, Biomes and How They Affect Hair Health and Disease. Can you tell us a little bit more about what your lecture is going to be about? Yes, Greg. So most people are aware of the importance of a healthy gut microbiome but they're much less aware of the skin microbiome and indeed how both of these impact on, uh, on health of the, of the hair and the scalp. So we know that microbial communities live within the hair follicle and uh, these have beneficial effects on scalp health. So my lecture will give an overview of the latest research in this new frontier of medicine and how our coexistence with these microbial communities or biomes impact human hair health and disease. So I, I, I've heard your lecture before and you're an amazing lecturer, but for an audience that is primarily hair transplant surgeons and not scientists, what do you think is the importance of them attending your lecture? And what's your sort of take home message gonna be? So there's so much more we don't yet understand about how we coexist and we and are in fact dependent upon these microbial passengers. So while this is a rapidly evolving field of research, it's widely accepted that a healthy microbiome has a significant impact on our general health, as well as our, our skin health um, and, and scalp health and disease. So if you're a doctor dealing with hair loss, then you really need to be keeping up to date with the latest thought processes. If for no other reason than your discerning, more discerning patients will be, and they may well ask you some very probing questions. So my lecture will give the audience an overview of what we currently know about this field. I couldn't agree with you more about how important it is to at least have a basic knowledge in this area so that we can answer questions that patients may pose to us. So thank you. And I'm really looking forward to hearing your talk in Delhi. And I'm looking forward to um, seeing everybody there. Thank you. See you then.